Okay, so this video we're going to be covering uh, file input output and we're going to be looking at reading some text files and writing some values to them, appending information and um, deleting the files. <coughs> I'm going to be using Python and we'll also have a look at importing modules in this tutorial uh, just to show you some cool stuff we can do. Right, I'm also going to do it in uh, five little two minute videos hopefully to break down each section and get it done quicker so if the demo fails you don't have to sit through it whilst I correct it. Okay. Okay. Now this code here, uh, basically what we're doing is we're setting up f as a variable of a file, a file stream, and we say f equal to open the file that we want to open and then the action that we'd like to carry out with the file and in this instance the W stands for writing so we're going to create a file called sum.txt in the directory where this um, script is run and then we call f.close to close the connection to the file. It's important to do this to clear out um, memories and variables, uh, sorry, variables from the memory um, to save on resources and keep your programming clean and tidy. I'm not taking up lots of resources so let's just run the code. So I'm going to file exit, and we're going to run python space part one dot i. Okay, so leave that run, and it's come back to the command prompt without an error message, so it means it's worked. And if we just run dir star dot text, as you'll see here, we have a um, text file called sum dot text. So that means that's how you create a text file in Python. Okay, so for this demonstration, we're going to open a file and write some text to it, some pretty straightforward um, file I.O. stuff. Let's have a look at the code. So we're going to edit test.py. And in this uh, file, you'll notice we are opening the file again. So open sum.txt for writing. And then we're going to write to the file with f.write. And we're going to write some text to a line, to the first line, and then we're going to close the file. So let's save this, and exit, and then let's call python test.py. Oh, text, test.py. Okay, so we see that's run. If we run dir space star.txt, You'll see sum.txt is there and it's 8 bytes long, so let's edit sum.txt. And you'll see inside sum.txt sum is some text, which is what we added from Python. Next, we're going to be looking at appending to existing files. So I'll leave this file here and we'll append to it. <coughs> okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is appending information to existing files. Let's look at the code. So I'm going to edit test.py and here you'll see the first line opens the text file, this time for appending, and we call the write uh, method and write something else to the file, followed by uh, backslash n which is the line termination character and then close the file. So let's, let's just try See the contents of uh, some dot text because I've run this before. Uh, just testing some stuff. And save it. So in there you can see there's one line of text now. We exit from this and run the script. And then edit some dot text now. You'll see on the next line now we've added something else. So uh, that is how you append information to files using Python. Now, the next demonstration, how to read a file in Python.
Okay, so now we're going to look at reading a text file and printing its contents to the screen. Let's look at the code. Edit test.py. And the same here, apart from it's called file in. Let's just change it so it reads the same as the rest. Okay, so here we're setting up f equal to a file. We'll open some text, and this time we're opening it for reading. So we would not re need write permissions to open it in this way. And uh, I believe when you open it for reading, it opens it a different way um, for writing and you have a different set of functions available to you. So when you call s, dot, uh, s equal to, so we're setting a string equal to f.read, uh, which will read the contents of the file into the variable, closes the file, and then we will print s to the screen. So let's run it. And as you can see here, it's printed out the variables um, stored in the text file to the screen. Um, I hope you found this lesson on File.io interesting and helpful. Um, we're going to be covering more Python uh, over the next few episodes and then we're going to get looking at applications and development with Python. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Have fun hacking and we'll be back soon.